BPC-157 Body Protection Compound BPC-157 is a synthetic fragment of a naturally occurring gastric protein. Its primary function is signaling tissue repair, and when introduced into the body at higher concentrations, it accelerates several biological processes involved in healing. It increases angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood vessels that deliver oxygen and nutrients to damaged areas. This enhanced circulation supports faster recovery in connective tissues where blood flow is normally limited. It also elevates fibroblast activity. Fibroblasts are the cells that generate new collagen, the structural protein essential for tendon and ligament repair. This dual action enables quicker restoration of strained tendons, ligaments, and muscle tissue. Research shows improved tendon-to-bone healing in animal models, indicating its potential for treating chronic strain injuries and acute strains. Athletes consistently report reduced recovery times because BPC-157 shifts healing from passive rest to active cellular reconstruction. TB-500, thymosin beta four fragment. TB500 is a synthetic version of a segment of thymosin beta-4, a natural peptide involved in cellular movement and repair. Its primary function is enhancing cell migration, which means it increases the ability of repair cells to travel toward damaged tissue. This is important because injury recovery depends not only on the body's ability to produce repair cells, but also on how efficiently those cells reach the affected site. TB500 also upregulates actin, a structural protein that supports cell shape, flexibility, and movement. Higher actin activity improves the mechanical resilience of muscles, tendons, and fascia by reinforcing their cellular framework. Because of these actions, TB500 is commonly used for mobility restoration in overuse injuries, such as chronic knee inflammation or shoulder strain. Athletes frequently describe improved looseness and reduced tightness, which aligns with the peptide's role in assisting tissue glide, elasticity, and recovery from micro tears. Studies show thymosin beta-4 accelerating wound repair and lowering inflammation in both cardiac and muscle tissues, indicating its broader regenerative potential. When combined with BPC-157, one peptide facilitates tissue reconstruction, while the other enhances functional movement of the recovering tissue. CJC-1295 and ipamorelin. CJC1295 and ipamorelin are classified as growth hormone secretagogues, meaning they stimulate the body's natural release of growth hormone rather than supplying hormone directly. CJC1295 increases both the height and frequency of growth hormone pulses from the pituitary gland. This creates a prolonged elevation of IGF1, the downstream hormone responsible for tissue growth and recovery. Ipamorelin complements this effect by acting selectively on growth hormone releasing pathways without triggering unwanted responses such as elevated cortisol, increased hunger, or sharp hormonal fluctuations seen with earlier compounds like GHRP6. Together, the two peptides generate a GH rhythm that closely resembles the body's natural nighttime secretion pattern, improving muscle protein synthesis fat metabolism, and recovery quality. Consistent exposure to elevated IGF-1 levels also enhances joint lubrication and connective tissue repair, which contributes to improved strength output and reduce post-training soreness. Research notes that CJC1295 can elevate IGF-1 levels by over 200% for several days after administration, demonstrating its long-acting effect on the endocrine system. Athletes commonly report firmer muscle tone, reduced water retention, and deeper sleep, all of which are associated with optimized growth hormone cycles. IGF-1 LR3, insulin-like growth factor 1, long R3. IGF-1, LR3 is an extended duration form of insulin-like growth factor 1, a hormone produced when growth hormone signals tissues to grow and repair. The LR3 modification prevents the molecule from binding to IGF binding proteins that normally limit its activity, giving it a longer half-life and greater bioavailability. This allows IGF-1-LR3 to act directly on muscle tissue for an extended period, where it activates satellite cells, specialized stem cells responsible for generating new muscle fibers and repairing damaged ones. By stimulating these cells, the peptide initiates hypertrophy at the cellular level rather than merely enhancing performance or reducing breakdown. It improves nutrient partitioning by directing amino acids and glucose toward muscle repair instead of fat storage, creating conditions favorable for lean mass gain. Because of these mechanisms, users often report denser and more voluminous muscle tissue after repeated exposure. Scientific data shows localized IGF-1 injections causing measurable hypertrophy in rodents even without systemic increases in growth hormone, 
demonstrating its direct anabolic effect. Its ability to remodel tissue independently places it in a category of peptides that fundamentally alter muscle architecture rather than just improving training output. GHKCU, copper tripeptide. GHKCU is a naturally occurring copper binding tripeptide involved in cellular repair and tissue remodeling. Its primary function is signaling regeneration in skin, connective tissue, and other structural layers by delivering copper ions to cells. Copper is essential for collagen cross-linking, which strengthens newly formed connective tissue, and for angiogenesis, the creation of new blood vessels needed to support healing. It increases the activity of repair pathways associated with stem cells, enhances antioxidant defenses, and reduces inflammatory markers that accumulate with repeated physical stress. These effects improve the integrity of skin, tendons, and fascia, making the tissue more resilient to microtrauma. Although it does not build muscle mass directly, it supports the structural systems that influence long-term athletic durability. Research referenced in the source material identifies improvements in wound healing and reductions in oxidative stress, showing how GHKCU improves the internal environment for recovery. Its role in reducing the accumulation of microscopic tissue damage makes it valuable for athletes who need consistent regeneration between training cycles. AOD 9604, fragment 176 to 191 of human growth hormone. AOD 9604 is a modified fragment of the human growth hormone molecule specifically engineered to influence fat metabolism without triggering growth-related effects. It acts on beta-3 adrenergic receptors, which regulate how the body mobilizes and stores fat. Through this pathway, AOD9604 increases lipolysis, the breakdown of stored triglycerides into usable energy, while simultaneously reducing lipogenesis, the creation of new fat tissue. Because it does not stimulate systemic growth hormone pathways, it avoids the joint enlargement, organ stress, and fluid retention associated with full GH administration. Its mechanism produces a gradual and steady shift toward fat being used as a primary fuel source, especially when combined with caloric control and consistent physical training. Research showing measurable reductions in body fat without a corresponding loss of lean tissue, suggesting selective metabolic action. For performance-oriented individuals, the peptide's significance lies in its ability to improve body composition without affecting heart rate, blood pressure, or central nervous system stimulation. Its role is metabolic optimization rather than muscle growth, making it suitable for athletes seeking leanness without interfering with recovery demands. Folostatin-344, myostatin inhibition. Folostatin-344 is a peptide designed to bind and neutralize myostatin, a regulatory protein that limits muscle growth. Myostatin functions as a biological break on hypertrophy by restricting how large and strong muscle fibers can become. When folostatin-344 inhibits this protein, the restriction is reduced, allowing muscle tissue to grow beyond its normal genetic ceiling. This action increases both muscle fiber size and density by removing an inhibitory signal rather than adding an anabolic one. In animal studies, myostatin blockade led to large increases in muscle mass, up to 60% in some cases, without harmful enlargement of cardiac tissue, demonstrating significant hypertrophic potential. In practical use, athletes report faster recovery between high-intensity sessions and the development of harder, thicker muscle tissue consistent with reduced myostatin activity. Because the peptide alters a core regulatory pathway, its effects extend beyond superficial changes and modify the body's fundamental muscle growth limits. However, long-term safety in humans remains uncertain due to limited clinical research, placing folostatin-344 at the experimental end of performance-enhancing peptides.